Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is me trying to do an extra prom. Apparently, actually, I just noticed this. Uh, here is June 27, 2025. Uh, we, we have a, co a couple of hundred problems to go. I never noticed that. Uh, let's try to do one. Uh, I do have a race tomorrow, so let's keep it medium. Uh, how do I do this? Yeah, let's keep this medium. And let's just pick a random one. And let's go. 168. Is that just like a number of problems I have left or something? I don't know. That doesn't sound likely though, does it? I don't know. Anyway, let's give it a YOLO. Let's go, pick one. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this one. And today we have a premium problem, so hopefully this is of use to you. Uh, 3596, minimum cost path with alternating direction, one. Okay, you're given two integer M and N. Uh, I always call them R and C, rows and columns. Cost answer cell is, well, this thing. So I don't know. Okay, fine. You Jason Cell on odd on odd number moves you have to move right or down. On even number moves you have to move left or up. Hmm, that's a very really awkward thing, isn't it? Huh? So like do like weird snicking thing. I'm trying to visualize how, how that means, but but, uh, but I, I would say one thing about these cells and uh, or grids in general. Uh, one thing about grid is that when, when you've done enough problems, then uh, the odd and even number moves actually there is, I, don't, I wouldn't call it a, a trick, but it's just a visual, visualization technique, right? Instead of just like a regular grid or, or boxes, the way that I think about it is with, um, what you might call it, uh, with a chessboard, right? And what, what, why do I say chessboard? Because you have a chessboard, you have white pieces, Oh, sorry, white squares and black squares, right? And the, and every odd number move is in, I, I guess it depends how, I mean, it depends on how you want to draw it out, but either, like, the first move is going to be on a black square, then uh, um, every other move is going to be also on a black square, and so forth, right? and the other one's in white square. So you can do it that way. That makes things a lot easier. Um... I was gonna, uh, my, my initial intuition was to do uh, a breath first search, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but given that RNC is 10 to the 6, that means that, well, we cannot do a breath first search. That means this is gonna be a bit interesting. I think, uh, I, I think this is just like an if statement problem, we have to work it out. Uh, and with that said, usually I do have a notebook, and if this was a contest, I would probably use a notebook. But uh, but because you know we are trying to solve this online uh, on the you know uh, I'm gonna bring up the drawing board and keeping in mind that for now honestly I do not know the answer uh, I'm just trying to still visualize this a little bit and I get the idea a little bit but I do not have um, a graph yet in terms of the min cost um, well one thing about min cost is that we never want to visit the same cell more than once for this one right because it never makes sense uh, before I draw I'm I'm trying to find. Uh, I'm going to try to find a, a chessboard grid that I can copy and paste into the thing so that, okay. Uh, okay, maybe this is good. Okay, yeah. Right. Oh, well, I mean, technically this is good, but this is that's way too big. Is this better? Okay, fine. Right. Um, okay. So, yeah. So then now... So the odd number moves, let me double check real quick what odd number moves mean. Um, cause the question, eh, cause when say, they say odd number moves and even number moves, the reason why I don't know is because, uh, okay, they say on move one. Cause sometimes for better or for worse, usually or it's just inconsistent, right? Because sometimes you start with move zero cause it's zero index. So your first move is odd. And sometimes they say it like the first move is even, right? Well, I think I said it the other way around, but either way, you know what I mean? Like, it's not always consistent. So, okay. So the first move is right or down, which I guess makes sense, actually, now that I look at this graph, because you cannot go the other way, right? So that means that, let's say you have an 8 by 8. That means that here, we want to go, uh, we can go either this way. Uh, let me use another color. We can either go this way or this way, right? I think one thing to say is that if we want to go here, um, then we always want, I guess these things don't matter because of symmetry. I was going to say, you maybe there's one way that you want to go, but uh, but yeah. 
Okay, and then now now that we're here, we can only either go uh, left or up, right? So either this goes to left or up, or we go here, which uh, we, we went down, and then we also go left or up. Huh? I wish they gave one more example, just not be given for explanation. I'm just trying to understand what the... Is it just negative one for everything impossible? I'm just so confused. I think that that's the part that I was confused about. I was thinking that maybe you can go... This farm is so con... Like I was thinking that, I mean, it, that would be a really trick problem if it's just like we turn negative one impossible for most cases. I would laugh. But because I was, I was thinking that maybe like you could go somewhere like do, 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 something like that. But then I guess f from this start, you don't go. Like you, you can't go not on board, right? Uh, that you could return to this one. And if you return to this one, then now again, you know, maybe this is just a silly trick question. And I, I maybe that's why I haven't solved it yet because they, they thought this was too dumb to use in a contest. But okay. But as you can see, that means that there are only two places, right? Oh, sorry. Three places that we can go, right? Uh, two being one of the other two, or the other one being the initial square, right? So okay. I don't know. I don't know if this is right. Oh, let me turn, the, turn this off real quick. I don't know if this is right. I hope I'm wrong, almost. But, uh, but that's just silly if that's the case. I don't know. If... Oh, because um, you can't go out of bounds, I assume. Um, if you can go out of bounds, that would be very interesting. Um, but uh, this has to be two specifically, right? Then we return, uh, I guess they're both the same, which is one plus two. So that's going to be three. Right. So that's what I'm thinking right now, which would be a ridiculous solution if true. I am going to cheat a little bit and just ask for like 5-5 five five or something. Uh, oops. So 5-5 five, five is negative 1. I don't know. I'm going to YOLO. I think, I mean, that was a half cheat because I would have YOLO'd anyway, but maybe I get a wrong answer. Okay, this is just a really dumb problem then, I guess. I don't know what to say. Uh, but I mean, I think we drew it out. So like, you know, like I, I like I, we drew it out. We couldn't figure it out how there is a thing, but uh, I guess there's a good reason why this isn't a contest problem. But yeah, uh, all right. Well, I don't even know why it's medium. I guess it is. Eh, I don't know. I think you just need to draw it out. All right, I don't know. I'm going to take the one hint and then see. Okay, well, this is not even a hint. This is just a solution. <laughs> okay, well, uh, all right. If I wasted your time, I apologize. I feel like I wasted my time as well. How did this video take nine minutes? I guess I was talking about grids and stuff. But uh, all right, well, that is all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Really silly today. Thanks, Lead Code. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.